energy sector has been on fire over the last year. The increasing cost of fuel has been nothing but good news for the most common names in major energy ETFs, companies such as ExxonMobil and Chevron, up about 75 percent and 65 percent respectively over the last year. The most searched for international energy ETF, the iShares Global Energy ETF, has also performed well, returning 53 percent over the last year and 35 percent year to date. Its top two holdings, you guessed it, Exxon and Chevron, followed by other multinational energy conglomerates such as Shell and ConocoPhillips, up 36 percent and 97 percent respectively since this time last year. Going beyond the big names, let's consider another interesting play. Europe is experiencing nothing less than an energy crisis. It's no joke across the continent, thanks to the war in Ukraine, a persistent heat wave in many parts of Europe, and the general inflationary environment. In the UK, analysts expect energy bills to increase to somewhere between 3,500 and 6,000 pounds. That's between 4,136 and 7,090 euros per year. On the low end, that's roughly an 80 percent increase from October. Spain is taxing hugely profitable energy companies while cutting the taxes consumers pay on their energy bills. Earlier this month, the government mandated that businesses cannot run their AC lower than 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And in Germany, electricity prices have increased 720 percent year to date. One way to play it is to look at Enphase Energy, which has been on a solid tear over the last year. It is also generating significant interest in Trackstar, with nearly 100,000 searches in the last month. The company produces chips and systems that propel solar energy storage solutions for residences and businesses. Its revenue in Europe for the second quarter of 2022 increased 69 percent compared to the first quarter of 2022, led by strong growth in the Netherlands and Germany. There is a growing trend of homeowners wanting self-consumption as the region not only faces rising energy prices, but also a growing demand for home electrification driven by EVs and natural gas shortages. They expect to introduce IQ batteries in more European countries during the second half of 2022. Those additional countries include Spain, Italy and Portugal, where Enphase is setting up operations. The company not only benefits from demand in renewable energy in Europe, but in the U.S. as well, where Enphase operates in 22 states. The bottom line is this. With no end in sight to the Russia-Ukraine conflict, don't expect energy prices to come down in any meaningful way anytime soon. Add to this that China has yet to fully recover and reopen from COVID. Once the shutdowns stop for good, demand there will likely increase. There are times when it makes sense to buy stocks and ETFs on strength, even when they trade at or around their 52-week highs. This might be one of those times.